Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Allie and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, you guys, I have my second book review and, to, and it's a Jesus chat. Today's video is a Jesus chat and I have my second book review for you guys because all the books I do read are Christian based. So I decided I would start doing reviews for you guys. It'll be about once a month if that's okay with you guys. Yeah. I would say more than once, but life happens and sometimes I just don't get to read. So, but I am trying. So the book we are going over today, She Laughs, Choosing Faith Over Fear by Caroline Mil M Milovec. Pretty sure you pronounced that Milovec. Pretty sure the J's silent. So first I'm going to do just like last time. I am going to read the back. And then I'm going to read the very last page of the book. So the very last paragraph page of the book, since the paragraph is split up. So this just says, in the face of poverty, grief, brokenness, disaster, hopeless situations, life's struggles, she laughs. Join C.A. Milovac on a journey of joy. She believes with all her heart that laughter is a gift providing a silver, a sliver of distraction from whatever struggle you may be facing. Relief when you need rescuing, hope in the midst of hardship. Though her life has been dotted with disaster, it's through laughter that she found the strength and courage to preserve joy, to preserve joy for the journey. And she'll help you discover all the ways laughter can carry you through your own painful situations. In 10 Laugh Till You Cry chapters, Milovac shares how laughter has been an essential and valuable part of her own healing, plus hilarious true stories will help you get started on the path to a life of joy, peace, and joy. Oh, of get to a path of, get, get on the path to a life of peace and joy. She laughs and you can too. Caroline Mil Milovac is a Southern raised, Jesus saved, barely sane author, speaker, social media goofball, wife and mom of three daughters. A true reflection of beauty for ashes, Caroline has become the go-to girl for a good laugh, motivation, loving truths and vulnerability. So let's go ahead and read this last snippet in this chapter. It says, when I was going through hard times this past year, I wrote a pay I wrote a prayer of thanks for the reminder that it's okay, that it's okay, that what faith and laughter, that's what faith and laughter are for. So this is a, hi God, it's been a while since I've prayed, since I've smiled, I mean. I've smiled, I suppose, but it wasn't true. Heaven knows you've seen me struggling against the strongholds, the lies, and the fears this and the fears this year. I know better, and here come the tears. I guess I'm not supposed to have it all figured out. You keep me tripping in my tripping on my guessing. You're humorous like that. Some some say it's rude to laugh when someone falls, but without a sense of humor, I might not get back up at all. Dignity can be found on the ground, and strength is restored on the floor. That's where my knees are meant to be. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you. Thank you for the gift of laughter. I cherish it always. I know as long as I can laugh, I keep the joy of hope for my future. In Jesus' holy and precious name, amen. We laugh because we can. Simple as that. So let me start by that. Every time I read that last prayer in this book, like it makes me want to cry. So this book is simply that. In every single chapter, you will get a good laugh. This book was really good for me last month when I was reading it because I actually was going through some hard times. And it also made me question like forgiveness. And because let me read, let me read to you guys the chapter names because the chapter names all start with she. So it's, so it's describing the type of woman of God that you could be. So she is restored. She plays. She speaks. She fails. She's humbled. She listens. She breaks. She forgives. She's a mess. She laughs. 
this book was so good. My only thing is that I really, really wish that it was kind of a devotional style book because this is not that. There's a lot of God talk within every chapter, but it's also a book about her life and how she made it through every struggle and where she was, like what state of mind she was when she learned the lesson of each chapter. And I really did appreciate that. I, and even though like there's not a self-reflect page, like I challenge you, like after each chapter that you read, write down, okay, for instance, she forgives. Am I a forgiving? Am, am I forgiving the way God is forgiving? Who do I need to forgive? What grudges am I holding on to? To order to be able to choose faith over fear, I have to have a place of forgiveness. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it. even though it's not the kind of book that I read last time where it makes you reflect on the chapter you just read, like, a lot of, at least for me, a lot of self-reflection came out of this book. And it really has gave me peace and joy in the midst of anything that I'm facing and just reminding me to be still, enjoy what God has given me, be thankful for what, for what God has given me while he works out all the kinks that are currently going on in my life. That's what I really enjoyed this book for. So if you're someone like me, like I love to laugh. I love to laugh and I'm, I'm the goofball in the family. Like everybody knows that I am the goofball. So I really related to her because when times are hard, I do laugh. I do make jokes out of everything. And it may not be, so like it may not be appropriate, but laughter is good, you guys. Like it's good to laugh. But laughter is good, you guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that th that's what this book reminded me of. Like, like it's okay to laugh. It's also okay to not be okay. And it's okay to laugh even in situations where you should not be okay. Like, that's what I love about this book. And like, she just reminds you like to pray, rely on God. The only person through laughter that has gotten her out of this situation, like this, like the state of mind that she was in was God. Like he pulled her through everything. But like I said, if you're more of a, I need a devotional for things to kind of stick type of person, this book's not for you. Now I can't, some people are listeners and it sticks. That's not me. That's why whenever I go to church, I write down really detailed notes because I have to write it down and see it or I have to read it. So this book really stuck with me. And there was a day where I like bawled because I was like, Lord, I have a lot of unforgiveness in my heart that's causing me to have fears now. And so it's 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 a really good book, you guys. So if you need kind of like you're in a season of trial and you need a good laugh pick this up because this is really going to help you just let go like just <sighs> that's what this book is going to do and like i said i challenge you go i still highlighted a butt ton throughout this book i wasn't able to take notes or anything like that but i was able to highlight a crap load and it really stuck with me so yeah i really recommend this good again you got this book i found mine on amazon she laughs choosing faith over fear so i will try to go ahead and link that down below it's a really good book i really recommend it like i said this isn't a devotional style book so if you're not in like you only want devotionals don't get this but if you're just kind of like a book reader and you need a good laugh pick this book up so yeah i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys. Mwah.